So there just appears to be a disconnect between, uh, for some of my colleagues and the uh, authors of this bill, between protecting the pregnant woman and protecting the pregnancy, right? You can't have the pregnancy without the pregnant woman. What about the pregnant woman? I mean, how do we protect the pregnant woman? Because you can't protect the pregnancy if you're not protecting the pregnant woman, right? The pregnant woman, because you can't have a pregnancy without the pregnant woman. How do you protect the pregnant woman? Have the a safe abortion and not go through that trauma and risk not being able to ever carry children again. What about that? What about the health of the, of the woman, the pregnant woman? You can't have a pregnancy without a pregnant woman. And the way this bill is written, how do you protect the pregnant woman? So the pregnant woman, how does this bill protect the pregnant woman? How important is it to protect the pregnant woman? I, 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 I want to ask you how this bill protects pregnant women. Quality of life, does that ever come into play along with, again, the health of the pregnant woman? So how do you protect the pregnant woman if you don't have exceptions for mental illness? If this bill were to pass, we are asking pregnant women to risk their lives. That is what we're doing. Because there, there's no exception for rape. They could be living with their rapist. And in fact, violent crime, violence against women increases when there is a pregnancy. Every stat says, says it. I could go through the National Institute of Health, Center for Disease Control stats, no problem. There is danger to pregnant women. And if we're seriously talking about protecting a pregnancy, how can we possibly exclude protecting the pregnant woman? And I just end with, because you can't have a pregnancy without a pregnant woman, right?